Alex, I watched an interview with you recently. Um, and in this interview, you stated that uh, nowadays rowing works uh, as a stress release for you. So it helps you to regenerate from the business stress you got. Per contra, when you think back uh, on your dual career, what kind of role, what kind of function did education have for your sporting career? Was there an influence on your sporting performance as well? What, do you, what would you say? I think, um, let me approach it from this way. Um, you know, a lot of people have always ask me, oh, I, like my academics were never, like were, were always quite good. Um, and um, people a lot of times ask me, oh, how do you do that? Like, it must be so tough. Like sports takes away so much of your time. Um, if you've known me for long enough, however, you know that before I did sports, I had terrible grades. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, like ask my mom, I had the worst grades. I was literally <laughs> failing every year. Okay. Um, so for me, um, it was very apparent that actually sports helped me um, to do better at university than the peers. Um, and the reason for that is very simple. If you only do a university degree and you have no other commitments, you also have no structure in your life. Um, so a lot of people get lost um, and you know, they procrastinate and never get things done. However, if you are a competitive athlete, you run on a tight schedule, you know, you have your training sessions, you have your structured day, um, and you get used to squeezing in your university degree and you get very structured and you get things done, um, which other people don't. Um, and this structure that the sport gives you um, really allows you to study much faster than actually the rest. So for me, what I experience and I think what I've seen from a lot of other people as well is that um, sports and studies work really well together because the one thing gives you the structure um, to do the other thing and actually the other way around as well because there is a structure in university that you have to abide by. So. You know that, again, you know your training schedule, you know your university schedule, so you get structured. Um, and if you only do one or the other, you know, even as a competitive athlete, you have a lot of downtime because you need to regenerate and you do nothing. As a university student, you only have um, so many lectures a week and you have a lot of time to relax and do nothing. If you combine the toes, you become very efficient. Mm -hmm. um, and they help to do well in both things. Uh -huh. really. Okay.